Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Media. We're back at the old Royal University Hospital as the demolition continues. So we bring you another update on the channel. We're going to see the bigger machines in action. The big yellow crusher, the biggest one I've got on site, I believe. When it's full, at this full height, it can go up to 70 foot. That's the one I'm thinking about. So they're going to need that definitely when they do the main hospital. Because so many different floors of all the wards, like a straight ward. It's a big building. They're going to need that machine to pull that one down. But let's see where up to where we are with the bioscience Duncan building. They're still working on that side first. If you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. He's so grateful. Let's see the action, shall we? I'll run you. I'll run you in show. I'm just in position now. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what's going on. I'll zoom in. And that's that big yellow crusher ripping the pieces down bit by bit. It's currently um, working around the second floor. It was doing sections on the third floor just. I'm not sure if the other crush is going. I can't see water being sprayed, so I'm not hearing nothing from that machine. So I'll go back to this one. I will go around to the entrance to the hospital after here. That was a good piece there, wasn't it? it took off. They're definitely removing a lot of the rubble as they go. There's a lot more there. Steel girders, all sorts. Oh, it has been raining pretty much all day, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. It stopped raining, I thought, yeah, I'll come out now, start filming. Demolition. It's good to see all machines in action. I haven't been able to get access to the old TJ Hughes building, but I'm still trying. I do want to try and get inside, but they're playing hardball, which is understandable. It has been taken over by... Whoa. That is a powerful machine. It's moving all the rubble at the bottom. And that was pretty much where the bridge was, wasn't it? Or was it a little, or was it just past them walls? It's pretty close to where that bridge was. I think it's just past them walls where the, the bridge would have joined up and the corridors to each area. The biosciences and the, the walkthrough under to the Duncan building. We'll talk more about this demolition team later in the video. They're relatively quite new as a company, to be fair, based in Birmingham. But we're going to learn more about them later in the video. But we will probably come back to talk about them either up here or around the back. I just want to go to the entrance first. I don't think there's much happening, but I just want to see if there's any difference we can spot. Catching a bit all. Yeah, we're just outside the main entrance. I'll turn the camera around in a minute. There's not a lot of activity going on inside the main entrance. I think they've pretty much cut it. 
There's a lot of rubble to the left I can see, but I'll turn the camera around. Zoom in. There's a lot of rubble still inside to be moved. And that's what, that's what they were doing on my last update, to be fair. They're just pushing it all out now, just gathering it all those grabbing machines. So there's quite a lot more to come out yet, but all the activity is with that big yellow cluster that we saw in the last clip. But this is the part I really want to look forward to seeing getting demolished. But it ain't going to be anytime soon. We'll zoom back out, we'll head round the back and see what's going on there. I think that was the yellow machine to make light work of that, but it's got some power in it though. the view from this angle. Carry on going towards the back of the old royal now. See you around now. Just head around to the back. I'll spin the camera around. We have up from this angle. You can see from a better view to be fair. It's just so hard with all that little steel and metal in, in the concrete. that there and carry on walking along and see what the other vehicle demolition crushes up to. Yeah, I'm just walking along the back now and yeah it's in, it's in use so I'll spin around in a minute. It's quite dusty around here to be fair so they've made good way, good headway to that lower section. It is impressive though, these machines, and it just cuts through stone like it's paper. It just makes it look so simple. There's quite a lot of activity going on further up as well, so I'll carry on going around in a minute. That's how All the building is that currently ripping down while the other side with those tall machines. We'll zoom back out. Camera on me. Okay, I'm walking up, shall we? Right, 
I've been really impressed by this team. It is a slow, um, I say slow, a long process of a demolition, but it's very impressive. I don't believe there were weekends. I was going to come out Sunday, but I thought it's pointless. If there's nothing there, then it's pointless coming, to be fair. But I'll turn you around. And that is how it's looking around the main areas of the hospital. Another massive machine there that I'm not seen in use as yet. So we'll go to a bit of a higher vantage point. And that's how it's looking around the back. And just in between where the, the bridge was, that grabber machine is just clearing rubble away. Bits of metal. Looks like a bomb city, doesn't it? But it's all going to plan. Each area they're working on. You see them closely anchored off those big sections. That's going to go with very soon. That section is going to be yanked off. There's still one large piece fall, but I didn't capture that. Got all of it, but it ain't budging, is it? Come on, you can do it. Stay with these a little longer and see that part get ripped off if we can do it. It's playing hardball at the moment. Can hear the crunching sounds. It must have some pressure as soon as it grabs on, but it's still hanging in there. You can see all that dust, the water, it's going to go. See all those metal strips that keep all the concrete together. That's why these buildings are built to last, you know. That window's gonna go, isn't it? It's 
三千ですよ。あ、おお、わお、bits of glass flying everywhere. I'm glad I'm, I'm pretty far. Whoa, he's got that. Jesus. There's another big piece, whoa! Wow. Don't know how much these machines cost, they must cost a hell of a lot of money. If anyone knows, let me know. Kind of machinery is definitely heavy duty. And I must take some pounding by hitting the buildings and grabbing all to concrete and yanking it off. It's just Those are going to go in a minute. More flying glass, probably. Yep. Whoa. You can hear the glass smashing all over the place right here. Oh, that part's going to go in a minute. Look, whoa. Wow. Jesus Christ, man. That was impressive. Um, whoa! Jesus. Them big pieces are flying down now. Whoa. I just come back around the back again to where the small machine was ripping into the building. It's busy taking the roof sections off. So here's a bit about the company. The DSM Demolition is one of the UK's leading demolition companies with a reputation for quality, innovation, health and safety. Established in 1988. So it is quite a young company. And some of the projects they've done is the Egra Cooling Towers, the Leeds General Infirmary, Luton and Dunstable Hospital, Barchester Street also. Tatar Steel, Coke Ovens, Paradise Circus, Birmingham, White Hart Lane, Tottenham's Old Stadium, and Shadwell Street also, amongst many others. Part of their arsenal, the mechanical demolition, high reach, ultra high reach demolition up to heights of 70 metres. A demolition by means of high-speed explosives, complex 
industrial deconstruction, inner city regeneration, robotic deconstruction, stru structural alterations and refurbishments. So they cover all sorts of demolitions from high explosives to what you're seeing right now. Such a young company to come in that's quickly become one of the leading companies in this country for demolitions and that was a, that was a bit about them that is impressive we're gonna leave we're gonna leave that there and wrap this one up if you like what you saw, click like, share, subscribe. We'll be back, not at the weekend because we won't be working, but we'll be here possibly Friday this week and then next week. We'll try and get to Anfield also near the weekend to see what's going on. And if they finish all those snaggly little jobs that have yet to finish over there. But yeah, that was a great update, I thought. Coming on leaps and bounds, even though it's a long, slow process, you can make out the difference. Catch you for the next one or wherever you are in the world. Try the rest of your day or evening. Bye for now.